this is Joey Allen. I am the original and current lead guitar player for the 1980s rock band Warrant out of Los Angeles, California. And uh, we're going to answer some questions here. So let's, let's rock it. <laughs> well, the first question I have for you is, how has the industry changed since you were out on the road as a band um, in the last 10 years? And what do you think is, in terms of, has it gotten harder or easier? To run the business or to run the band or... To run I mean, the business side of, the, of it. It's 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 actually gotten a little easier for us because we're at a point now where we 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 control our own destiny, so to speak. Um, but on the on the technology side of things, I mean, it's 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 changed tremendously. You know, we we don't have to spend as much money to tour anymore. We've gotten lean and mean um, touring wise. So so whereas I don't know, I would guess a lot of businesses that are out on the road today, band wise. Um, you might have, you know, uh, a net of 50, 40 percent if you're lucky when you're done with a tour. Um, we're running pretty lean and we end up with a net of about 65 percent. Um, so as you get older, you get smarter. Um, riders change, so all the booze gets, uh, gets replaced with Gatorade, vitamin water. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and aspirin and Tums and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just a lot, you just get smarter and, and you, uh, you know, leaner and meaner, just like any business, uh, especially in today's economy when there's such a downturn, uh, entertainment seems to hold solid because people like to get entertained when it's, when it's a little depressing, drinking booze and entertainment, I guess you would say. But, um, so we're, 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 we're happy with the way things are and we'll continue going to 2009 and just tour as much as, as we want. What do you, I mean, since there's been so many different impacts and changes in terms of the industry on the digital side, um, what do you think of all these new emerging digital technologies and the impact it's had both kind of on a positive and negative level in the industry? Well, I mean, just from my experience, I think that um, the old, and we were talking earlier before we started this, I think that the old model of the music industry is long and gone. Um, I think that, you know, right now what they're trying to do, a lot of the larger companies, is they're trying to piggyback on the touring income, on the merchandising income, on the publishing income of these artists. So even though that model broke and missed completely, utterly, and every businessman that was ever running any record company that missed the digital age of music should be, should be sweeping floors somewhere right now. Because I, I just don't understand how, how an intelligent businessman could have missed out on that. I don't. It, it blows my mind. And I, don't, I hope that um, nobody at any of the record labels that are left, you know, were there when, it, when they missed it. They don't deserve to be. But, um, I, you know, back to the question. I think that it's helped tremendously because it allows artists of any stature, be you be, you be a guy that sits in your closet all day and plays guitar 12 hours a day and creates music, um, and you might not be the most social person in the world, um, you know, or, or you don't have the networking skills or the people skills to get out and, and you know, play in a live uh, situation, but you still want to record um, or you want to orchestrate for TV or for, for film or anything like that. It just gives you an immediate medium to get it out there. You know, um, there's so many different networking tools online uh, that, that helped that out. There's just the, the way you can record now into a computer. I mean, I've got, a, I've got an iMac at home and a dongle and, you know, Warrant is, uh, we recorded a live record at a gig, uh, you know, on a, on a Mac a few weeks ago and we're going to put out like a kind of a greatest hits live package with a few new tunes. So we're all writing right now and what we do is, is everybody's got their home studios and we, and we, um, we basically plug into a dongle, you know, so I've got my iMac, I use GarageBand, and I'll write some riffs, and I can basically just upload them to an FTP site, and my bass player can download it, put it in his Pro Tools, and start screwing around with it. I can sing it to my singer who lives out in Phoenix. So basically what we've got now, instead of going and spending a thousand dollars a day in a large studio with some SSL board and a, and a bunch of Studer tape machines running it, you know, uh, and sucking up a bunch of electricity, we can actually do it at home and email it and um, formulate our ideas that way. So, you know, that's technology. I know there's, I know there's even newer technology that we're not 
aware of or not utilizing and that that segues me into saying that maybe that's the downturn um, you know it's so hard to keep up with technology's pace um, unless you're just on top of it and and not that it's a bad thing that technology is getting better and bigger and faster and and, and it allows um, people of any of any you know whatever you want to call it talent to record or, or be creative but it's just really hard to keep up with the technology pace uh, as soon as you've got your Pro Tools you know plugged into your Mac and your guitar plugged in and you're recording well along comes something else that does it quicker faster easier you know what I mean so as cons we're consumers in America, you know, and everybody likes to get the next biggest, fastest thing or smallest, fastest thing, whatever you want to say. So maybe that's a little bit of a downturn, you know. And uh, it's a unique perspective that I have because I work in the, in the music industry outside of Warrant. I work for a musical manufacturer. Uh, we're not real electronic. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an acoustic drum company that we also manufacture flutes. Um, so I'm music 24-7. Uh, so technology doesn't affect my MI side, but it definitely affects my music musician side. Um, and so that perspective, you know, when I go into retail shops and I see all the different gear that's coming in, you know, things get smaller and smaller and smaller, you know, and quicker and quicker and faster and, you know, the manuals get bigger and bigger.